Kikis. I hope you're all doing okay out there. Now today we're doing something quite simple, although it looks a little difficult, but I really like how it turned out. So we're going to do some ranger's tips or tips of mountains on your nails. Anyway, I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Now the polishes I'm using today are from the new Dark and Stormy collection. Um, now these will be available very soon. The first one is called Salt of Black. The second one is called Gunmetal Grey. And the third one is called Earl Grey. And they go from dark, obviously, to lighter shades of this beautiful cream polish. Now on my base, I've just got a base coat, which I'm not going to tell you about right now, but I will tell you about in the future. Um, you can use uh, any color in the background that you like. I just wanted to use uh, a clearer or just slightly pinkish clear polish. And so I use this uh, base coat that um, I, again, will be telling you about very shortly. Uh, now we're using a, uh, a medium sized detail brush and we're going to start with the lightest color now I, I learned this trick from one of those art like kids art shows that I used to watch with my eldest son um, where you do a picture starting with light and then then light sorry starting with yeah starting with light colors the mid the, the lightest color then the medium light color and then the darkest color and it gives you the look of um, looking at like a mountain range in the distance so whatever's closest to you is going to be darkest and that's the sort of the principle of this but i think this would look so cool with lots of different shades it doesn't just have to be like the, 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 the sorry can't speak traditional mountain sort of view you could do you could do it in such anyway i really hope you experiment with this i am going to so look out for a video coming up with with something similar to this but using a different color family i think it'll look really really cool so um you can see on the pinky i used a, i started much more close to the middle of my nail whereas with the rest of my nails i'm going to sort of try and concentrate it more towards the tip or at least only covering maybe a third not even a full third probably a quarter of my nail with the design so it really is this design designed to be more of a like a interesting take on a french tip but we're using not white obviously because that's kind of boring anyway not that it's not good because it is it looks lovely when it's done well it looks really beautiful but so as you can see we're not actually putting all of the color uh down towards the the tip of the nail we're only doing as much as we need to so you don't need to overload your tips of your nails with 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 three full layers of polish now this is a little bit disappointing for me only because on camera these two colors look almost identical like basically the same but in real life they are quite different the second color is actually darker than the first color I used, although it doesn't look like that on film. So I apologize for that. Um, they are very, very close to each other, but not so close that you, should, you shouldn't be able to see the difference, even though when I took photos of it and under filming of it, it actually looks the same, unfortunately. So you'll see that I really marked a difference with the last shade, which is much, much, much darker. But yeah, I was very annoyed. <laughs> when I noticed that on the on film and on the photos that I took they don't look any different from each other but they are actually quite different anyway didn't do this design on my thumbnail I just went with the straight uh, the darkest shade on my thumbnail but by all means if you want to do it on every one of your nails then by all means do that too and of course if you're ambidextrous you could do it on your other hand and everybody would say that you're a genius because I cannot do that. My left hand, its ability to do nail art is absolutely nil. I cannot, I cannot do it. I can barely paint my right hand with my left hand, barely. <laughs> oh, there's the last shade, which is the darkest shade, which will um, look like it's the mountain range that is the closest to you. So you're going to do basically exactly the same thing. Um, you can mix it up and uh, with this last one, uh, which actually makes the whole thing even more striking um, by making not the mountain ranges not follow the same uniform uh, or design that you did with the 
previous two, but making them a little bit different so that they really contrast with the other two. Once all of that is complete, you want to go ahead and seal it in with your favorite top coat. Now I'm going to come in once this is completely dry with a matte top coat, which is also something that I'm going to be sharing with all of you. Um, now something did happen and it happens a lot with matte top coats uh, and it can be a brand new bottle that you've just pulled out of a, a packet or it can be one that's been sitting on your shelf for a very long time. Once the matte top coat dries, especially, especially if it's been sitting around, but even if it hasn't, I've had this happen, somehow there's these little flakes that end up in a, a matte top coat and it can actually end up, I don't know, ruining your design, especially if you're trying to get a completely uniform look. But, and it, it only it only appears on your nail once it's completely dry. It's so infuriating, but there's always a fix for the, everything. As per usual, there's always a fix for everything. Now this happened, I be, it was on my middle nail, I believe. Um, and this did happen. As soon as it was dry, there was this little white fleck on my nail. And I was like, really? So I thought, well, all right, well, then I'll go with it. And so what I did was I got a little bit of white polish and I put a little dot on it and then basically my nail art transformed itself insofar as it I had a moon on my nail <laughs> that's basically what happened um, it was actually my ring finger nail sorry um, but yeah so there's always a fix for everything there really is and in the end um, I really liked the fact that I had like a little moon at the end of it so I don't know up to you whether or not you think it was a good idea or a good thing that happened, but I do. Anyway, that's it. I really hope you liked this one. Um, stay tuned for more information about the collections that are going to be available very soon. There'll be links and this, that and the other, and we'll be doing giveaways and it'll be fabulous and so exciting. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye, tickies. <laughs>